I'm going to do some additive synthesis from first principles. So I'll start off by making some new tracks. And I think I'm going to need around about 12 tracks to make this work well. So we've got 12 tracks and I'll start with uh, the first track and highlight a region of 30 seconds. What I'm going to do with that is use the signal generator and I'm going to generate a sine wave of 220 hertz. I'm using 220 hertz because it shows up the effect well. It's not too high that it's uh, piercing and hard to listen to and it's just it's a good frequency and it's a musical note as well. It's the a below middle C. So let's make that. So we've got a 220 hertz there. Let's hear it. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit because it makes it easier. So on the next one, I'm going to do the next harmonic, the second harmonic, which is uh, twice 220 hertz. So it's 440 hertz. So here we've got 440, 220, and both together. Okay, not bad. So we'll go further up the harmonic series and we'll go to the third harmonic, which is 660 hertz and render that. So we've got... Okay, so you're probably getting the gist of this by now. We'll go to the next harmonic, the fourth, which is 880 hertz. And render. And we'll go to the fifth, which uh, I'll get my calculator. <laughs> I don't want to make any mistakes. Which is 1100 hertz and render. And the sixth, which is six times 220, equals 1320 hertz and render. The seventh. 1,540 hertz and render. The eighth is 1,760 hertz and render. And the ninth, nine times 220, is 1,980 hertz and render. And the tenth, I don't need the calculator for that, is 2,200 hertz. And the eleventh is 2,420. 2, and render. And the last one that I'll do here is the twelfth harmonic, which is 2,000. 640 hertz and render. So let's just have a listen to uh, some of these harmonics. I'll go onto the mix screen, it makes it a bit easier. Just deselect all of those. So let's work downwards from the top. Okay, not too bad. I'm going to make uh, a master fade as it, just so it's easy for me to control the overall level of this. So let's hear the whole thing as it is. Ooh, that's a bit. <laughs> that's a bit harsh. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to group everything, and I'm going to bring it all down to zero, and ungroup it again. And the master fade will put that back at zero, and the fundamental will put that back at zero. So, okay, that's not too unpleasant to listen to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some level to each of the harmonics, and I'm just going to do it the way that I feel like doing it. So, whatever pleases me to my ear. So, you can do it the way that it pleases you. So, let's hear it. I like this one because that's just 
it's just a little bit out of tune with the fundamental. So that one adds um, a little bit of uh, spice, the seventh harmonic. Okay, so we have here already an example of additive synthesis from first principles. We've made a pleasant sound from simple sine waves. So we've gone from this to this. But it's a little bit static. It's a little bit static. So what can we do to make it a bit more interesting? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, phase the introductions, or shall we say sequence the introduction of the harmonics. I don't need the signal generator anymore. Let's get rid of that. So what I'll do now is I've got a grid of 100 milliseconds and I'm going to make it like this. So we start off with the fundamental. Oh, I've done that wrong. <laughs> Never mind, start again, start again. Okay, let's just uh, shrink and shrink that the uh, cursor in the right place. We'll shrink that so we can see all of those. And we'll go back to the start. So what we'll hear now is we'll hear them, each of the harmonics coming in in sequence. It's just like fairies dancing, isn't it? It's uh, a bit, the introduction of each one's a bit sudden just at the moment. So I'm going to put a fade on the beginning of each one. I'm just doing it in the simplest way possible. It's all sorts of different ways you could do this. So it should be a bit of a softer approach now. Here we go. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting by adding some variation to the one of the harmonics. I just need to choose which harmonic. So. I'm going to choose the seventh, so let's expand that out a bit. And what I'll do here is I'll go to the volume automation. So we'll put a break point in here, and I'm going to go up there like that, and down there like that, and up there like that, and down there like that. And I'll just have a little listen to it just to make sure I'm going on the right track. Yeah, that's fine. A bit loud, but we'll fix that in a moment. So I can uh, duplicate that all the way along. So let's just get that going to the end. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> far enough. And I'll bring that one down to zero. So I can just fade it. Oh, yes, I've got the automation on. Uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll put a, a trim plug-in there. So let's just take that right down. So you can see this going up, down, up and down in level, but we've got it trimmed right down. So let's just bring in enough to make a difference. Okay, that's fine. So we'll play the, the whole thing. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to put in some more of these higher harmonics. Okay, that's not a bad 
bit of, um, of additive synthesis. What we'll do now is we've got to take this a stage further and actually do something useful with it. So um, I'm going to bounce this. So let me just check everything. Okay, the level here is fine. That will uh, suit my purpose perfectly. So let's bounce it. So go to the bounce dialog. I'm going to make it um, multiple mono because I'm just going to use the mono file eventually. Uh, I'm going to import it after the bounce and I'm going to do it offline so we don't have to wait too long. And it's going to be called Additive Synthesis 1, apparently. That's the name it's automatically chosen, and that's fine. So let's bounce that. And we'll re-import it to a new track. Uh, it's made it into a stereo track, but we'll fix that shortly. So let's just listen to that. OK, that's nice. That's everything we've done so far. So these original files, that uh, tracks that I used, I don't need them now, so I'm going to delete them. Okay, now there they go. And this one file, I don't need that into in stereo, so I'm going to split it into mono, and I'm going to delete the original and one of the mono tracks. And pan that center. So, listen to that. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Let's make it a bit bigger. What we'll do now is we'll make a new track, and I'll make it a, a stereo track. And we'll make an instrument track. So here we'll get an instrument, and it's going to be it's going to be the the contact sampler. That took a while to load up. Okay, can't uh, I can't quite see the whole thing on the screen. Let's shrink it down a bit. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it. So we'll make a new instrument. So we do that. So we've got an instrument, and we'll go to the toolbox, and we will go to the mapping editor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find that file. Which is additive synthesis one. And we'll put it in contact. Let's get the Pro Tools back. There we go. So we've got that in the mapping editor. And we can stretch it out over the entire keyboard. What we need to do now is to set the key at which the sound will play at the correct pitch, which is 220 hertz, which is A below middle C, which is just, just there. So we drag that down to the A, and it should now play at the correct pitch. So I can play it on the keyboard. And I can play it in chords. In fact, I'm going to make it sound a bit lower in pitch. To make that sound a little bit nicer, we can add a reverb to it. So let's go for the Altiverb, and I'm just going to leave it on the uh, default program, and we'll set the mix a little bit lower than that, and a bit longer rev reverb time. So, with a bit of sustain pedal, And there we have it, Additive Synthesis from First Principles. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.